when talking about controversial topics, assisted suicide seems to be my favorite. So today, we're going to talk about why assisted suicide should be available to people that are terminally ill. The first topic we're going to be talking about is why assisted what is assisted suicide and why it's important, the requirements and where it's legal, and the history. But before we do all that, let's take a look on the other side and talk about the other thing. The first one is Catholic police don't align with suicide for the terminal year. The doctor's estimation on time could be wrong. And physician's role as a teacher, as a healer, becomes impaired when given the chance to save a life. Assisted suicide is also known as death with pain. According to Google, um, assisted suicide's definition is the suicide of a patient suffering from an incurable disease affected by the taking of lethal drugs provided by a doctor for this purpose. Secobarbital is a prescription medicine that allows terminally ill patients to die. This drug can cost anywhere from $3,000 to $5,000. And in Oregon, this is the most common drug prescribed, and it takes 9 to 10 grams to have a lethal and it comes in a liquid and a non-liquid form. As you can see right here, these are the pills. Then you take two to have the lethal effect. Let's talk about the importance of assisted suicide. People that die from terminal illness every day is approximately 1,500. Providing assisted suicide to patients give them, gives them the right to peacefully die and in their sleep, not due to a seizure or a heart. It gives them a way to say goodbye to their loved ones and a better peace of mind to those people as well, knowing that their loved one died in their sleep. According to CNN.com. The four requirements, in, according to DeathWithDignity.com, is the first one is you have to be 18 years of age or older. You have to be a resident of the state where it is legal to have assisted suicide. You have to be capable of communicating and making healthcare decisions for yourself. And this is the most important one. You also have to be diagnosed with a terminal illness that will lead to death within six months of this. After this process, two physicians will decide if you've met the requirements. And you have to wait 45 days before you can ask verbally, or before you can verbally ask them. Like you have to put in the thing and then you verbally ask them. And then you might have to wait another 15 days and ask again in a random way. And then wait 48 hours. And then you will get the medicine to take away every ounce of pain from your body and when in terms of your terminal illness. Where it's legal to die with dignity. It's extremely disheartening to know that there's only seven out of 50 states that have passed the dying of dignity. The states include California, Hawaii, Montana. Oregon, Vermont, and Washington. The District of Columbia has also made this legal as well. Brittany made much story. According to CompassionandChoices.org, on February 1st, 2014, this young 21 year old's life took a turn for the worse when she was diagnosed with a grade 2 astrotoma. She was given two to five years and a few months later given six months. And also diagnosed with a grade four astrotoma that could be that would continue to take and take away from her. This is the worst astrotoma. Dying. Brittany didn't choose to die. She just chose how to die. She took the tiny ounce of control that she had over her terminal illness, and in her last months alive, changed the world. Her story went viral and took off. She was all over the news in telling her story and making death with, dignity, death with dignity a common household topic. And that was something that changed many lives, including her own. Brittany later, decided, Brittany later died in her house on November 1st, 2014, with her husband and close friends nearby to support her in her last moments. After she consumed the elixir that forced her peaceful demise, she took her last breaths and was Let's go over what we talked about. We talked about why assisted suicide is important. And in that, we, talk, we went over death with dignity, 
We learned the definition of assisted suicide and the importance of assisted suicide to determine the patients. We went over the requirements and the rights of the group. We learned the four steps and the process that you have to go through, and that it comes in a pill and as well as a liquid form, and where assisted suicide is linked. And then we talked about Britney Page. We talked about the Death with Dignity Act and that Britney's, in Britney's last months, she chose how to die not to die.